Hey, good morning, everyone. It's Ann Manera, and welcome to Monday's Live Color Along. Um, let's give a couple of minutes for everyone to get here, for more people to, to, to join in. Excuse my wobbly camera. I don't know what is happening today, but um, I have a case of the hiccups going on, so this should be interesting. And uh, I don't know, I'm allergic to something that's in my house this morning. So between sneezing and the hiccups, we're going to have an interesting morning together, but it's going to be fun. So this morning, we are coloring a page from uh, Color Along Volume 10. I'm using gel crayons, and I'll be swatching my colors this morning. And I also uh, want to show you my new book that came out the other day called Mesmerize. Uh, we're going to talk about Secret Santa, and we're going to talk about coloring camp. So that's today's meeting. Um, okay, so first of all, before we begin, we can't do anything else without uh, saying good morning to everyone. So let me scroll back here through the comments and see who is here with us this morning. Good morning, Holly. Rosie Eckhart has joined us this morning. Hey, good morning, Jason from across the pond. Good morning, Linda Robin Gordon. Uh, Pam's here. Happy birthday, Pam. Good morning to Chris and Heather G is here. I don't know about Heather B. Is Heather B here? Chris Castelli's here. Marvin, good morning, Marvin. Good morning, good morning, good morning to Alice and Melody. Still always think of Romper Room every time I do this. Hey, good morning, Martha Carter. Yeah, hey, Martha. Um, I have to tell you. I'm going to tell you right now. Um, I have your. I've been meet. I have been meeting to message you. I have your uh, coloring membership in an envelope, and it came back to me. I don't know why. I mailed it. It came back to me, and it looks like the address is correct. I need to double check it, and it's going out in the mail again uh, tomorrow because today's a holiday. Um, so I hope that's what's happened to your coloring pages. Um, it was weird. Hey, good morning, Abby. And I'll message you anyway. Good morning, Bonnie Miller. Good morning, good morning, good morning to everyone. Who else is here with us this morning? Hey, Shower Waters. Uh, Abby, I say good morning. Hey, good morning, Sarah. Sarah, did you get the uh, book all printed out in time? I hope. So, um, which picture? Hey, we're doing um, a picture from with the snowman. Sarah's asking, hey, which picture? We're doing a picture with the snowman. So let me find that that page. Um, hey, Heather B. And um, here's the page we're doing this morning, Sarah, and everyone. This page um, is also can also be found in my book, Lazy Waves. Um, this is one of my favorite books, actually. This is one of my earlier books, Lazy Waves. And um, I did a page similar to this, and then uh, somebody said to me, wow, you should do a whole book of that. So I did. So sometimes if you tell me that... Wow, you really, yeah, it was very weird, Martha. I don't know what happened, but I have it in a new envelope now and it's going out uh, tomorrow because I didn't realize, I was going to do it today, but the post office is closed. Uh, so I'm doing it tomorrow. But, hey, Alexandria, um, you know, if you tell me that you really love a book, I end up doing another book similar to it. Have you guys caught, not caught that yet? Because the other day, uh, Diana, for example, um, colored the entire book of Hypnotic in its entirety. Holy cow is all I have to say to that. And she said, man, I really love this kind of book. So I did another book like it. I did Mesmerize, which just came out the other day. And then uh, yesterday I started working on another book called Dazzling Mandalas, which maybe some of you have seen. Um, that book, um, the cover of that book is coming to Amazon this week. Um, good morning, Jonah. Good morning, Cindy. So let's do a flip through while we are waiting for the room to fill. Um, of Lazy Waves. It's an 8 by 10 book. It's got a glossy cover. And this has 21-sided pages. Um, and there's two copies of every page in this book. So you, you can uh, color twice. You can experiment with different uh, coloring mediums. Or you can uh, share with a friend. I don't know. Do you share with a friend when there's two pages? Or do you keep it all to yourself? Are you a coloring book page hog? And you don't want to share with, the, with, with your friends? Um, so here's Lazy Waves. So it has different things like boats. And then it's got these crazy like backgrounds. Um, and I, I guess I called it Lazy Waves because it was, um, I guess, I don't know. They look like lazy lines behind here. Um, my favorite ones are the ones with the sailboats because they're the true Lazy Waves. So this was like the first page that happened. Um, so sometimes a book is born just based on one page. Like for example, usually a book starts, hey, you know who that is at the window, Chris, you know. Uh, usually a book starts at Draw Live, and we have Draw Live coming up this Saturday, actually. Um, Chris and Pam both share pages. Cool. Um, and you share with your sister, Alice? Yeah, it's amazing. It's kind of cool, isn't it, to have those two pages? Uh, believe it or not, I've had complaints. I'm a hog, too, Heather. I don't really like to share them. I usually print them. 
or if you um, come over to my house, I probably you probably leave with the whole book. How about that? So I usually give you a book. Here you go, Scarlet. Leave man. Yeah. Leaf blower man. Crazy, isn't it? I don't know. I'm counting the leaves on the trees before he um before he stops. I can't wait. I'm gonna have like a a, a leaf um party that they're all gone. I'll copy a page to share. That's a really good idea, Bonnie. You're a hog too, Holly. Yeah, I'm coloring book hog. It's okay. Be a coloring book hog. I don't really care. Yeah, I am with my coloring books, but um some books I don't have. I don't have copies of, of my own books because I've given them out. One day, some politicians were uh, knocking on doors and I gave them a book. That was kind of funny, actually. <laughs> they ended up buying uh, 20 books, actually, from that. I bought, gave them a coloring book because they started talking about coloring and I told them about it. And I said, hold on, I'm going to go get you a coloring book. So I gave them a book and um, the next week they emailed me and they said, we want to buy 20 books. And they wanted to pass them out while they were campaigning. So that was really, really cool. Wasn't that really cool? Yeah, we're not going to invite Leaf Blow Man to join us. Okay, so I'm going to swatch my colors from my color page, coloring page color chart swatch book. And if you have not seen this, this book has 2,500. Um, well, no, this has 100 pages. The other one has 2,500. My mistake. Uh, this has 100 pages. And the way this works is that you use this book as you're coloring a page from a coloring book. Hey, it could be anybody's color book. It doesn't have to be mine. Um, he's out there again, yeah. I don't know what he's doing. All right, so this one is going to be Lazy Waves. And it's also in Color Along Volume 10. You put the artist name here, which that's me. And the product name I'm using, the product name is Closet here. Um, yeah, he's nuts, Chris, right, exactly. Isn't it crazy? Perfect coloring day, 50 degrees in rain. Oh, I don't like 50 degrees in rain. It must be very muggy. Is it? Hey, Dawn. No ladder today. <laughs> no, no ladder today. I'm using Maped Color Pep Smoothie. That's what they're called. They're gel crayons, essentially. And there's other companies that make gel crayons. Um, these are the only ones I have. I like these. They kind of look like tubes of lipstick. That's what I compare them to. To me, it's like a crayon slash lipstick, and they're, they, um, I wouldn't put them on, I wouldn't use them as lipstick, but look how it comes off on your skin. So that's why it reminds me of lipstick. They're completely non-toxic. My pet is a really, really nice product. Um, I like them because the, the colors all, the names of the colors are consistent across all of their products. He better not be peeping in my windows, I'll tell you. Okay, so my pet Color Pep Smoothies. I don't know why they call them that, but that's what they call them. And every time I say it, I want to say smoothie, like a smoothie, right? Um, it's kind of cold here, but it's very, very sunny outside. It's nice outside, actually. Um, but it's a little too cold for my for my my liking. I don't know. But look how much it's... See this? Look, this was on my hand, so it does smear. Um, sometimes you can use them with water. Let me get myself situated. Oof. Okay. So how is everyone liking the um, the group that's going on? The Color Along 10 group. Uh, somebody made a comment the other day that it's kind of like mini camp. Almost like, not even mini camp. It's like a bigger camp. But it's kind of like the camp version. Uh, it's like going to coloring camp. In a sense that, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start out with purple. Um, it's kind of like coloring camp in a sense that it is... Um, you have a color along, you have information about it. There's information that's put on the group about it every time we have a color along, whether it is a, um, a product information or, for example, last week when we talked, we colored with just a purple uh, pencil when we did this page, there was something that was put on the group uh, talking about the color purple and the meaning of the color purple. Um, Abby's saying she loved the group. I think it's um, very, very uh, informative and... Um, Let's get, we have to let Chris not laugh. Um, 
And I think that it has a lot more information that people don't even realize that's happening in there. We had a worksheet that happened um, for the colored pencil day when we did color blending, color pencil blending and shading. So there's other perks that are in that group. And that is the, the perk of um, buying the book. You get in that group and that's where you get all that information. Some people have bought the book and they have opted not to be in that group. If you have done that, that's fine. Um, but if you have the book and you don't want to be in that group, you're going to miss out on um, the different pages and posts that are in there. I am not going to email those inf that, all that information out. So Bonnie likes it. Chris likes it. Thank you. So um, just want to get your feedback about all of that as we move into um, kind of playing with that group. So that's kind of fun. All right. So this page, I don't need to put anything behind this because there won't be any bleed through. But they're very creamy. Does anybody have this product? Lynn says she can't find hers. Martha loves the group. We have fun. I like it. Julie's saying I like it. Yeah, it's, um, and you can post your pages, but really, um, I mean, you can always post your pages anyway, but I wanted it to be an opportunity for um, th those that have purchased the book to have more information um, and to be able to access the videos too. That's the other reason why I did that to be able to actually access those videos easier. So when you want to go back in and watch the replay, you'll be able to do that. So um, they kind of go, you twist up like a um, like lipstick. That's the only way I can describe it is like lipstick. They don't really have too much of a point on them. So you have to kind of be e go easy when you are um, getting into smaller areas, but they blend well. If you add another color to them, they, they, they're just fantastic. As uh, what's her name says, I feel like that woman on that cooking show. Oh, what is her name? Ina Garden. You ever read, read anyone ever watch her? I don't I haven't watched her in a long time. They don't have names on them though. I'm talking about the Color Along, uh, Holly. I'm talking about the Color Along Volume Ten group. If you own the book for Color Along Volume Ten, you are at you let you're let into a private group. So now I'm going to mix, I'm not going to mix, well, should I mix that one? What you can do is you can, you can like blend it with your fingers or with a cotton swab if you wanted to. I need to make, a, need to make lists of pages I need to print. Well, do you have the, um, do you have this? Do you have this right here? Chris? I know I used to watch Ina Garten, Garden every day too, but I don't have the cook the food network anymore, so that's probably why I haven't seen her. I'm gonna see what Hazel is doing. Hang on, guys. Watch these dogs. Yeah, I don't have that food channel anymore, so that's probably why I don't watch it. I'm going to go with pink for this one. Now, I could blend that completely. I don't even know if I... You could use a blending stump. You could use uh, a DIY blending stump when we make them with um, the tissue or the paper towel roll or the toilet paper roll. Um, or you can leave them just as is with that texture that's being picked up by the paper. I'm going to leave it just as is because I want that to be picked up by the paper. Did I say that backwards? I want the paper to pick up the texture. It's like throw the baby up the stairs a cookie. It's like one of those backwards talk. Okay, so there's my pink. Yeah, I don't have that channel anymore. Um, just only because I just kind of have basic. Oh, Bobby Flay, remember Bobby Flay? I know. Sometimes I watch Martha Stewart. She goes on PBS every night on the Create channel. Do you have that channel? That Create PBS Create channel? Um, Dawn's laughing. Um, who's yelling? Someone yelling? Yeah, I like watching him cook too. I used to watch Sarah Moulton a lot every night, like at, like around, she we used to go on where you can actually cook with her. Did you ever see that? It was like a cook-along. That was kind of cool. Um, 
but Martha Stewart goes on every night on Create. And has anyone ever seen that other guy? He does like, um, he only cooks on the grill. He cooks outside. I don't know the name of him. What the heck is the name? I cannot remember the name of it. All right, so I'm going to add some blue to this one. I'm just going to kind of make it as colorful as possible. As spring-like as possible. I mean, I know it's not spring when there's a snowman, but kind of some winter colors. Sometimes winter colors are more like a, um, a purple and a pink. If you've seen the cover of uh, the, color, the Winter Camp coloring book, um, it has purple and pink and blue uh, snowflakes falling atop of an igloo because we're not in a tent this year, we, this time around, we're in an igloo. Maybe in the spring we'll be in a teepee. I figured I'd change things up. Maybe we could be in a tree house for the next time. I don't know. I figured I'd kind of like change everything up. Bonnie says, I'm good at talking backwards. Heather B likes to pick on me when she's sleep deprived, Chris is saying. Are you sleep deprived, Heather B? Has anyone gotten used to the time change yet? I don't think I'm used to it yet. I don't know what's happening to me. And I keep forgetting that today is a holiday. And I know that we have some people in our group that have served in the military or served in the National Guard, and today is their day. So big shout out to them. I'm not going to point you guys out because maybe you don't want me to point you out in the middle of this, but um, I know who you are. <laughs> Faber Castell gel stick, are they the same? I don't know, Abby. That's a good question. Martha Stewart makes me want to go curl up in the corner because I am so worthless. Oh my goodness. I know with her crisp, um, how about with her crisp white, uh, shirt that she's wearing that she never ever gets food on right how many times do you think she changes that shirt during the course of a show just so that it stays white and crisp and and uh clean i don't think it's realistic that she uh does it i've been watching these other two women though lately at night on pbs um that cook one of them has glasses they're two sisters and last night the episode they were eating ramen noodles sometimes i have it on while i'm like near the computer or something Who is Michael? Who do we miss? Michael. Am I missing something with Michael? I feel like I live sleep deprived too. Which color? You mean the orange? Is that what you wanted me to say? Um, I feel like I'm always tired. How about you, Heather? Is that what you're talking about? Sleep deprived? Isn't it crazy? I'm going to add some more pink underneath his little little claw. You could always cut this uh, tip to make it sharper. We should have been in a cabin in the woods for the winter. Oh, yeah, I know, but I figured that the, um, the igloo would be kind of phony. I've never been in an igloo. Has anyone ever, ever been in an igloo? Thought it was kind of a riot. We could be in a yurt next time. That would be cool. Michael Simon, he's Bobby's best friend on the Food Network. Oh, I am out of the loop. Yeah, everything is just way too perfect. I agree with you, Chris. Isn't it crazy? I don't know. Maybe she just has to be perfect in her perfect world. It's okay. All I know is that she's laughing at. She's laughing herself all the way to the bank, that's for sure. So, I don't know. When I'm a millionaire and I'm in my tour bus traveling around the country with all my coloring books, giving them out to everyone. That's my plan. Um, <laughs> uh, I don't know. I'll let you know what it's like. You're supposed to, in order to attract things in your life, you're supposed to speak and live and think as if, as if it already happened, right? You're supposed to get the feeling in order for, in order for you to attract it into your life. <clears throat> Is that like a pool in Florida? Michael Simon was on The Chew. I've never watched The Chew. When I was a kid, we made them at recess over the week. What are we talking about? Oh, the igloos. Oh, 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 sorry. This seven second delay on this thing, let me tell you, it makes me feel like I have no attention span. Because I make a comment, and then you guys respond to it, and then I don't know what anyone is talking about because it happened seven seconds ago. Because that was like yesterday in Facebook Live world. Mm -hmm. 
All right, what color should I add here? I think I need to add, I don't want it to touch, I guess I'll add, well, I could add yellow or I could kind of introduce another color. I think I'll introduce this tiny green, this little green. We will be very cold in the, yeah, but igloos are supposed to be warm. The insulation of, this, of the snow actually is warm, isn't it, Bonnie? Maybe, do you ever see that block, they sell those, that plastic thing you can build an igloo with the blocks and the snow? We maybe should give that a try, Bonnie. Chris, I spend money like a million. I think it's all relevant. Don't you think, Chris? The more money you have, the more money you spend. What's happening over here? This crazy business over here called dogs. Lay down, smell it. I think it's all relative. I think if you have the money, if you have a lot of money, you're going to spend a lot of money. If you don't have any money, you're not going to spend a lot of money. Hey, Nola. Nola's, did everyone um, have a good time at Nola's Color Along the other night? That was a blast, right? We got to talk to Nola. Um, coloring the page from what or her color book called like Clockwork. What a cool book. I'm still convinced that I need to turn that clock I colored into a real clock. I'm obsessed with it, Nola. I don't know what happened to me. I'm just going to flip my page like this. Are you off today from work, Nola, because of the holiday? Now I have the hiccups again. I had the hiccups earlier today when I first woke up. What causes the hiccups? Too much air that you take in? I don't know what it is. These are very smooth. Sometimes, I, I did think I did a page from uh, Peaceful Little Angels with these, and I really mix the colors. Um, it does. It needs to be a real clock, Noah. I agree. You know what I was thinking, too, about that book? I was thinking about it last night. That book could be a book to teach kids how to tell time. You could have moving hands. You could have hands in the back of the book. Maybe the people could cut out. Um, and people could actually uh, learn how to tell time with that book. That would be cool. Or maybe you could do a blown up version of another book for clocks where you could use it to teach kids how to tell time. You get the hiccups when you eat bread. Yeah, it's a holiday here in the U.S., Barb. It's Veterans Day. Um, I mean, technically the holiday was yesterday because it's always on the 11th, but um, it's celebrated here today on Monday. So there's no school uh, government offices are closed. Most people have the day off from work today. Uh, no trash pickup. Like, stuff like that. Alright, let's see. I'm going to put some green over here behind him. Behind his hat. And go back in with the pink. Maybe a paper doll book except with a clock. Yes, that's a very good idea, Nola. Exactly. That'll give you something to do on your day off today. Do you ever just wake up with a book in mind? Happens to me all the time. No, oh, no mail today, too. That's right. Post office is closed. Okay. I've been getting a ton of catalog lately. How about you guys? I'm going to swatch my colors here because I'm kind of behind on my swatching. And I'm going to swatch what I've used. So let's see. I've used pink, purple. I've used this light green color. They don't have names, so I can't put a name. And I've used some orange. Uh, what else have I used? Um, blue. I guess that's all I've used so far. And then I'm going to use this brown color for his little arms. But i got to figure out how I'm going to get that to be on these arms without uh, going out of my lines. And let us I'm going to swatch them all because I'm probably going to use all of them. Here's black. But nice and creamy. This color right here it makes a really good blender. Um, oh, so UPS is working today. Nola should make a, fo make a folks book about folks back in the day. Are we talking about clocks? Oh, they do kind of remind me of the Northern Lights. 
All right, so there's this kind of beige creamy color. And I'm going to leave the snowman white. Here comes this from taking in too much air, Alice is telling me. One time I was having, you always have great stories, Alice. One time I was having my stomach problem and I was burping. I must have taken, took it in the air and then, uh, and then started with the hiccups. Um, you could easily cut this. Let's see what happens if I do that. Mm, I don't want to use a pair of scissors, but I don't know where my little blade is. I don't know what happened to that. We're going to see what we can do here. I'm going to kind of go on the edge. Oh, not too bad. Okay. So it, they will, it's going to smear. I think it cures like kind of like an oil pastel type thing. So it's almost to toss between. Okay. Um, so there's my arms. I'm going to give him a black hat. The phone rang. Yes, the, my cell phone rang. Oh, my cell phone rang. But then they called my home, home number and I just answered it. So I always get nervous when my cell phone rings and then the other phone and I don't answer it for whatever reason, right? And then they immediately call... Uh, the landline that's always kind of translated into um, like a problem in the past. Giving him some uh, coal for the mouth. Hey, Scarlet, be careful with blades. I cut two fingers on my perpetrator the other night. What is the perpetrator? Blood on the color pages. <laughs> Lynn, what are you talking about? Amazon is still running today, though. I have a package off of delivery now. Um, what happened to the perpetrator? It's so funny. Is it spell track? It just kills me. Book about dolls back in the day, like Barbie, Strawberry, Shortcake, Holly Hobby. Yeah, those, you can't even do a book like that because those guys are trademarked. So you can't even do that. You have to do your own time type of thing. My mother does that to me all the time, usually five minutes after an email. Drives me nuts, Lynn. Lynn. You know that? Um, Drives me absolutely crazy. I'm going to give his scarf this red color. It always makes me nervous, like there's a problem, you know? It's like an emergency. It's like if something was um, was uh, happening and, I don't know, they just keep calling over and over. Why do you think they do that? Is it ever an emergency, Lynn? Usually it's not, but that one time is going to make you think that everybody is an, is an emergency, isn't it? I don't have any packages that are going to be delivered today. I'm still waiting for my Snowman Frenzy book. And, um... What else am I waiting for? Hanukkah book, Christmas chair. Um, I'm going to order my camp book today when I order Alice's camp book. And, um... I don't know. Oh, Miss Scarlet Rose.
I muted the... I had to mute it. Sorry, Alice. I had to mute my... The, my phone rang again. I'll tell you. I had to mute it for a second so I could figure out what the heck was going on. Don't people know that I do a live video every Monday and Wednesday morning at 10 a.m.? Sorry about that. Pay attention. Um, I don't usually answer my landline either, but I do look at the number. And if it's somebody I know, which that was somebody, I, that was my niece that was calling, then I will pick it up. Only certain people get through. <laughs> because, you know, I'm like a, I don't know. Only certain people get through to the, the landline, I guess. All right, I'm giving him blue here because he's kind of like red, white, and blue today. I don't know why. Maybe because he's on Veterans Day. I'll say it's that. So, I have a new book. I have Mesmerized that came out over the weekend. I think it was over the weekend. Or was it Friday? And, um... Was it Friday, Lynn? I think it was Friday. But the crazy leaf blower man broke in and kidnapped you. No, the leaf, leaf blower man is going to leave me alone. All right. I'm going to do something fun to the bottom of this. I'm, glad, I'm going to use some green, this color, and some brown to make him look like he's actually standing kind of on dirt. Um, and I'll blend them. So let's put, um, first put down some green. And this is a darker green than this. So it's a little bit darker. There we go. And then I'm going to add uh, a little bit of brown there. And some of that, I don't even know what I want to call that color. It's not really beige. It's like a nude. It reminds me of, um, this reminds me of makeup, you know, like a concealer. No, I wouldn't leave you for a long time. Believe me. But I don't know why people don't pay attention to what the heck I'm doing. Does anyone not know? Has it, have, have they not gotten the mem memo? Um, the snowman is a veteran. He is a veteran. I don't know what he served in. What could he have possibly served in? If he was in, um, I don't know what he served in. I'm having so much fun with Mesmerize, Lynn is saying. You know, I had a good time coloring that page too. And then I went on and I colored another page. I did another, started another book called Digital, it's called Dazzling Mandalas. So that one is going to be out this week. I'm having fun with that one. I'm having fun coloring these. I don't know why. Hallie says, I tell people not to bother me on those times unless it's an emergency. Yeah, I tell people that too. But do they listen? They don't listen, Holly. Snowmageddon. All right, now look, this has a little bit of other color on there, right? So I am going to just kind of wipe it off. It comes right off. Or you could actually kind of clean it off on um, a, like a piece of paper. These are non-toxic, right? And they're washable too. So if a kid got hold of these and they wanted to, uh, you know, write on the walls or write on themselves, it would come off as opposed to using like a Sharpie or something. You ever see videos of people, uh, pictures that people put where they like left their kid alone and the kid like, uh, I don't know, colored, the, colored their sister or something or uh, all the other ones that crack me up are that, well, I don't really like when they color the dog or when they... Um, they got into like a pantry or something and there's flour everywhere. I saw a video the other day of this little kid. She was like, I don't know, three. And she was washing, I think it was a, whole, a cow. She brought a cow into the bathroom, into the house, and she was giving it a shower. The mother was just standing there. She just couldn't help but laugh. All right, here's the brown. And I'm just going to kind of put a little bit of brown in here. So it's kind of blending a little bit. And it's changing the color completely of what's what's going on down here, onto this section. Did you guys have a chance to listen to my second episode of my podcast? It was it's about virtual friendships in the art community. So take a look at that. You can go to my website now, and there's a link for uh, my podcast. The next podcast, I'm gonna try to do pod, get podcasts out on Fridays, and the next podcast, um, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna talk about on the next one. I guess I just have to play it by ear. I'm not going to plan this podcast thing out too much because then I feel it won't be as, I don't know. I don't want to plan too much. We talked about this before, whether or not we're planners. Did you see the one with the horse, Alice? Wasn't that funny? It did kind of crack me up. 
Those videos are funny, aren't they, Kristen? So I'm going to leave it like that. Leave it so that it has all of that color that you can see. And then as far as the snow guy, I'm leaving him the way, that he, way he is. You could easily kind of go in and blend all of this, but I'm going to leave it so that there's that texture there. I used to be a super early riser, play with the flour, powdered cream. <laughs> Did you really? Um, it was kind of funny, wasn't it? it? looks like something my dogs would do. It's like Paisley splashing in the water. Paisley likes to splash in her water bowl when she gets bored, I guess. I don't know. She likes to splash. I'm going to add this other green to my color chart. And I'm just going to name my colors that I have on here. But I'm not going to go. There's nothing on the on the pack. Let me just make sure that I'm correct in saying that. Yeah, they're not named. That bugs me. I think they should have a name. I'm just going to call them as I see them. This is black. How easy is that? I'm going to call this one nude. And this one I'm going to call light green. And Scarlett says this one should be called woof woof. Um, this is the one I wanted, actually. I guess I have that light green on there twice. That's okay, though, right? I'm going to call this one dark green. Here's light green again, twice because we don't know why. Our friend orange, blue, brown, pink, and purple. Hey, Barb. Sarah's saying, new commercial where mom said to the little in the other room, what are you doing? The girl says, just coloring. She was calling grandpa's face. I did say that. That was kind of funny. Isn't that funny when they do that? I don't like when they color the dog, though. That kind of bugs me. That would be horrible. All right, so here's our Lazy Waves picture. This is complete without gel crayons. Um, and we're going to take a look at Mesmerize next. Let's take a look at Mesmerize, shall we? Are we eager to see that? Um, on Wednesday, what are we coloring on Wednesday? Let's look at our sheet, our cheat sheet. Um, Wednesday's going to be fun because Wednesday we're coloring a mandala that can be found in Easy Mandalas. And Wednesday, we're treating it as a challenge type thing. And we're going to color it with just five colors. Let's see if we can find that page. Here it is. We're only going to color with just five colors. And we're going to color with any medium. So it's all whatever you want to color with. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I might mix it up. We'll have to see how I feel that day and be spontaneous. Um, but just five colors, any medium you want. So here's our gel crayons. And you can check in the Just Color, in the, our color Along Volume 10 group later on today. Um, and I'll have some more information on gel crayons um, for you. And there'll be a link to the video for today. So all that kind of good stuff in that, um, uh, in that, in that group. So let's take a look at Mesmerize, shall we? Um, first, let's see. Here is the cover of the book. And I kind of reduced it so it fits on the on camera. Um, Mesmerize has 24 of these complicated pages. Here's the page that I colored for the cover. And then once I put it in the computer, this is what it looks like. So um, it has 24 pages uh, to color. And there's two copies of every page. It's an eight and a half by 11 book. I don't have my copy yet. And um, it's complicated. I mean, if you want a complicated book like Hypnotic, then this is, the, this is another book that's similar to Hypnotic. Lynn, how many pages of this have you colored yet? Lynn was the first one to purchase uh, Mesmerize. And I know she's coloring up a storm. Um, so there's pages like this. So I don't know. Do I have another page that I started from this? No, I don't. I haven't colored another one yet. I've been, I colored it with gel pens because it, I wanted something to have a really, really good point to get into the pages, um, or into the, the spaces and into the areas. But, um, there, there's some that are extremely intricate. Like maybe you would leave that. This is reduced a little bit. So it fits on the, on screen today. Um, but this book is a lot of fun. This is Mesmerize, a complicated coloring book. And um, this was a, this was created in the computer. So this was a computer generated. Um, I had to create this with the aid of the computer. These are not hand drawn. Um, and some of them are a little bit simpler compared to the previous page, which is way complicated. 
Um, and I think it's kind of a fun book. I think these look good when they're all finished. You could frame them and give them as a gift. A lot of coloring pages look good as, look good framed as a gift as we get into the color into the um I was gonna say into the coloring season, into the holiday season. I think coloring season is like January on. When we kind of like hunker down for the winter, you know, while there's this amazing it makes it sound like there's like 12 feet of snow. But in some areas, there could be a lot of snow, right? So, we don't know. So, these are the pages that are in Mesmerize. And this book is available on Amazon. The PDF is available on my website right now. It's only $7 on my website. So, you can get that on the website. You can use a coupon. Save 20 is the coupon code to get 20% off this PDF book. And um, this is a fun, was a, a fun book to put together. But this is a book that was, Diana had said, Hey, I loved Hypnotic. This was a really fun, fun book. You should do another one of these. So I did another complicated book. But it's a little bit different because it doesn't all the way go to the edge of the page. Um, so that is uh, Mesmerize. So that's Mesmerize. That's a fun book to color. The other thing I have to share with you this morning is Secret Santa. So Secret Santa is happening. Um, I changed the dates a little bit because people were commenting that they wanted it to be where they could, on a date that they could possibly afford it, I guess. So the dates are happening um, on December 1st is when you need to sign up by. You can sign up on December 1st up until midnight. It's fine with me. Um, and what's Secret Santa is basically um, a gift exchange. And it's Secret Santa and Monero, and Monero style because you sign up for this group. You participate in the gift exchange. And once you purchase a $15, let's say, uh, a ticket, it's kind of like a, purchasing a ticket, on my website, that is where you purchase that $15 like admission ticket into the group. And that gets you the book that you're going to give to your uh, the person who you've been assigned to. So once everybody signs up by December 1st, then I'll have a list of names. And I'll know that they've paid because we don't want to have a group where uh, people have Secret Santa and they um, they don't come through. What's worse than that, right? Hey, I've signed up. I... I sent my gift to my person and I never got anything back. So that's why we do it this way. So they can actually, um, we'll be able to make sure that everybody gets what they, uh, they've signed up for. So everyone pays that $15 and then they get, that gets, you can choose either a hard copy book or a PDF coloring book valued at $15 or less. You can also choose a coloring class or you can give them a gift card. So it doesn't have to be a book. You tell me what you want to give your assigned person. I'm the only one that's assigning everybody's all the people to each other so I'm the only one that knows that and then on December 3rd I give you who give you the name of the person that you have to buy a gift for which you've already bought the gift does this make sense about how we're doing this and then you choose that the, the person's book by the 5th and then on December by December 8th I ship the book to the assigned to your assigned person and then on December 15th we post a reveal list in the group so you know who your secret Santa was so um, this is open to worldwide, and in the past, it was open worldwide to, um, it was, in the past, it was only hard copy books in the United States and PDF books outside of the U.S., but things have changed since I've changed, since the publishers have changed, and I am now able to order a book um, from Amazon, uh, I don't know, Amazon Germany, for example, or Amazon Canada. So if somebody wants to participate, um, I think the phone calls are contagious. Who is it though, Alice? Is it a telemarketer, my friend Rachel from Card Services, or Gloria? Or how about the woman from the chimney company? That woman just kills me. Have you ever seen anyone having their chimneys cleaned in your neighborhood? Did you ever get those phone calls? We're going to be in your neighborhood this week cleaning the chimneys. I've never ever seen that happen before in my life. Um, but apparently they say that they're going to be in your neighborhood. I always wonder if it's a scam. So that's Secret Santa and Monero style. That's what's happening on December uh, 1st. So December 1st to 15th. And there's a group that you can participate in for this. So if you're interested in doing this, you can you can actually start signing up now and paying that $15. And then the books will be uh, December 1st is when that's like the, the date you have to sign up by. So that's what's happening. It originally was like the day after Thanksgiving, but I moved it up to December 1st. So everyone would have a little bit more time. What else did we need to talk about at this morning's meeting? Um, oh, I know what we're going to talk about. Camp. Excuse me. Coloring Camp. Coloring Camp is happening on um, January 20th. 
Can you believe it? January 20th to 26th. Um, January 20, 20 to 26, 2019. Can you believe we're headed to 2019? Um, did I miss where you put your wish list? I didn't post anything to put the wish list yet, Alice. I didn't put it on there yet. Um, I will put it on there, though. I'll put it on the group. Just as I get more people to come in, we're going to be putting it on there. I'll be working on that as we go towards the end of this week. So, Coloring Camp is happening on January 20th, and it goes until January 26th. Um, it is $19.99 per person, which includes the book and access to the private Facebook group. You need to sign up by January 10th. I have that as the date so that you make sure that you get your book. If you order your hard copy book on Amazon, this way you make sure you have it on time. You can order the PDF book on my website and get it downloaded instantly. If you're going to do that, then, I mean, just make sure you just don't do it that morning of the camp, you know, just so that you're not scrambling and I'm not scrambling to get you into the group. Once you make the purchase of the book on Amazon, then just send me an email or send me a message with either a photograph of the book or uh, a photograph of your receipt, proof of purchase, whatever that may be, and I'll put you into the private coloring camp group. So we're going to have live coloring tutorials um, each day from Sunday, to, Sunday through Saturday at 10 a.m. Eastern time to about 1130-ish. And um, they can the replays are going to be available. I mean, you could still go back and watch the replay from the summer camp as well as the fall camp, even though we're already into November. We're going to have a week-long coloring challenge. We're going to have a week-long color together. The book also includes activity pages, and we are going to have a member-only product giveaway. So that is what's happening with coloring camp. We will not be doing a community project this time because it was a little too overwhelming um, the last time for everyone that was trying to uh, put everybody's uh, put their information in so we'll do something we're doing the product the member only product giveaway instead and um, I'm not going to have scheduled co-hosts yet um, we're going to kind of play that by ear and see what's happening as we get closer so uh, we really want to kind of focus on the coloring tutorials what are we doing at coloring camp this time we're doing oil pastels we're doing stained glass um, coloring uh, effect um, what else are we doing All of the pages in the color law in the coloring camp book now are exclusively drawn um, for camp. They are not they're not um, in any other books. And the coloring camp book also has uh, two pages of every um, page, two copies of every page, so you can color twice. It also has a um, it also has a color chart, color swatch chart book. Um, pages and actually we can take a look at it so we can see what's happening for coloring camp alice i think i'm catching your cold i think i'm catching your cold too kind of feeling a little stuffed up maybe that's why we have the hiccups maybe that's why i have the hiccups today could that be so here's the cover of the coloring camp book um and then here's our schedule of what's happening we are um shading flowers and leaves that's one of the days with colored pencils we're going to uh go over a uh, graphite or slash or monochromatic on one day. Um, we'll be tackling pointillism again because who doesn't love the dots, right? Um, grayscale illustration, stained glass effect. That's going to be fun. That's a new one. Uh, watercolor pencils and a grayscale photograph. So let's see what that's all about. Um, so basically you need to have um, for your supplies, you need to have colored pencils, markers, watercolor pencils, chalk pastels, crayons, a graphite pencil, um, oil to blend, like baby oil or a vegetable oil, um, small paintbrush. I even put that in for our little uh, our our list. In a cup of water to rinse the brush, cotton swabs for use with the blending oil. We're gonna have camp T-shirts and sweatshirts, which are which are already available on Amazon right now. They're not required to be part of camp, but they'll keep you warm while you're at camp inside that igloo, right? And then our color along pages include, um, here's our shading with colored pencils page, leaves and flowers. We're really going to go nuts with this one. This is going to be a lot of fun. I'm really, really excited about this page um, in this particular day's tutorial. And then we are going to talk to do tackle this mandala that's in graph with graphite in the monochromatic um, effect. 
here's the page we're using for pointillism. So these pages are all drawn exclusively for Colin and Camp, but they're similar to other styles um, that are in my other books. Chalk Pastels, here's a page that's a grayscale illustration page that we'll be using for Chalk Pastels. And um, you can take a look on my website under recommended products to see some different links um, to different products that I recommend, that I love, that I use, I want, that type of thing. Um, there's a really nice set of uh, Chalk Pastel colored pencils out there right now made by General that are very, very inexpensive. And that's a really nice one to get. Stained Glass Effect is with this page with these butterflies. And for watercolor pencils, I've included a worksheet, and this is the page we're using for uh, watercolor pencils. For the grayscale uh, photo coloring, um, it's my own photographs this time. Please excuse my print job here because my printer needs ink, um, but it won't look like this in the, in the book. Um, so my own photographs are in this book. And then we have a coloring challenge, and this was drawn exclusively for, um, for this book, for this page. I'm putting the camp on my Hanukkah wish list. Oh, what a good idea. You know, that's why I reduced, um, thank you, Marianne. That's why I uh, released um, the camp book now because I think a lot of people would have put it on their holiday uh, list, wish list or gift list and asked people to buy it for them for, um, for a holiday, for whether it's Hanukkah or Christmas. Um, Bonnie is saying, which is better, cooking oil or olive oil? I like olive oil better. Bonnie. Um, but a light oil, like a light, like a light, uh, olive oil, not a really, uh, greenish, you know, some olive oil looks green in color because it's, uh, it's not considered a light olive oil. So a light olive oil, but a canola oil would work. Okay. Uh, baby oil would be fine. Um, and then we have activity pages. There's a journal page in this book. Um, there's a maze, uh, a word search, I was told not to post the answers to any of these until the end of the week. We have an imagination workout page. This is not in the book, but it's another imagination workout page uh, that is the part of the activity pages. A coloring page and a word scramble. And then there's enough color swatch charts in the book for all for each day because we'll be swatching our colors each day. And there's a page for notes. And that's it. There's two copies. I don't have two copies printed of every page, but there's two copies of every page in this book. So that is what's happening with um, Coloring Camp. So, so today we took a look at the Coloring Camp book. We took we talked about Secret Santa. We need to have somebody take minutes for our meeting, don't you think? Um, and then we talked about uh, Mesmerize, which is a new book that just hit um, Amazon this weekend. And what else happened today? We uh, colored the page from uh, Color Long Volume 10 with gel crayons, which can also be found in Lazy Waves. And we charted our colors. Whew, I need a nap. How about you guys? The dogs are asleep. What does that tell you? Okay, so uh, this will smudge, even though it's on the paper. It's kind of, it's gonna cure. And by that, it means it kind of like has to just the longer it sits, the, the more it will kind of harden and it won't come up. I know, meetings. Isn't it crazy, Lynn? Whoever would have thunk it. So if you haven't printed this out, this is available on my Facebook page so you can keep track of what's happening. We're using this color along book all the way till January 30th. Can you believe it? Um, Chris is saying, I'm really happy about getting two pages of each page. Yeah, I am too. Um, I think that was a smart move on my part. <laughs> I'll give myself the credit. Great job. Um, and I think it's, it's it's a good way to do it. Because really, you could get the book and you could, if someone wants to sit with you and do this coloring camp with you, you could. Maybe if you have kids you want to do it with or maybe grandchildren, you could easily do that with coloring camp. So, um, we're, we're I mean, take a look at the schedule. Um, we're live every Monday and Wednesday, regardless as to whether or not it's a, like Christmas Eve, the 12, 24, I'm still live that morning. Um, the schedule's very helpful, isn't it? I'm trying to be way more organized in my life, Chris. I'm trying. I don't know what it is. It's not really working. I'm trying to actually be more organized and do less every day. Does that make sense? Love the two-page idea in all of your books. Thank you, Marianne. I do, too. I almost thought... I, you know, I actually have a book that has 10 pages 
of each page. Did you guys know about that book? Marianne, it's, <laughs> it's called The Coloring Party Book. Thanks, Lynn. It's called The Coloring Party Book. And um, let me see if I have it, actually, if I have a copy of it. I don't really promote it very much. promote it very much and I gotta be honest with you I really haven't sold very many copies of this book so I kind of ignore it and uh, yeah work smarter not harder that's my goal um and this book has 10 different pages it's meant for a calling party it's meant for if you wanted to get together in a group maybe and everyone color like a coloring group I should show this to Lisa Ackroyd she's running a coloring group at um a assisted living I think so this book has 10 different pages in it, and there's 10 copies of each page. And this way you could have 10 people. So there's this bird mosaic page, and there you go. This is actually my bad copy, believe it or not. 10 pages, here's another one, 10 pages. Just 10 different pages, but 10 copies of each page. A very chunky book. This is good if you have kids. You know when you're coloring with kids and kids say, um, hey, I want one of those, there's only one in the book. That bugs me. I don't usually color with crayons. It brought me back to being a kid. Thank you. Hey, Lynn. Thank you. Hey, Nola. Nola says, I was not aware of the coloring party book. Yeah, I don't really talk about it because literally I think I've sold two. I don't know why. I think it's kind of a deal. I mean, you could use it with a bunch of kids. And this is my bad copy. This was back in the day, Nola, when I really didn't know what I was doing when it came to lay out a coloring book and put the inside together. So look what happened here. I'll show you my mistake. First of all, I have something on the back, which I never do that anymore. Um, but then all of a sudden, somewhere along the line, you're turning, 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 right? And there's your coloring page. And then you get to this one. And oh my God, it's now on the opposite side. So this is when I didn't really know what I was, what I was doing. Cheryl says, I love your style of teaching. It's very friendly. Crazy maybe, right, Cheryl? But I don't know. Thank you. I appreciate that. I don't think I've ever seen that book before. Yeah, I don't really talk about this book. Thank you, Chris. I don't really talk about this book because I really literally, I think I only sold two ever. <laughs> um, but this is good if you have kids and you want to rip out a page because sometimes you're sitting with a bunch of kids and the kids just, there's just not enough. So this is kind of a cool book for that. A cool book if you want to have a coloring party. Um, and I mean, even this, when I kind of set this up, I set this up in my backyard actually um, and staged this whole thing. And um that's it. So there's 10 different pages on, and 10 of each page is 100 pages. This would be good for color alongs. Yeah, but 10. You know, that's a lot. It's a chunky book, as my friend Marianne says. Right, Marianne? Okay, so Mesmerize, Color Along 10, Coloring Camp, Secret Santa, Lazy Waves. That's it. Coloring Party Book. Um... I'll see everyone again on Wednesday. Be back at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. And um, we'll be coloring that page from Easy Mandalas, which we'll be using just five colors, kind of a challenge. And uh, this is the page we're going to be using. You can use any medium. I might use a mix of uh, maybe colored pencils and markers. I don't know. I'm not sure what I'm going to use for this one. But only five colors. I have exacto knives, great for grandchildren to color with you. Exactly. Exactly, Marianne. That's a book, good book for uh, the grandparents. Maybe I need to do a book like this, but call it like the grandmother, the grandparent book or something. Maybe it needs to be titled differently. I don't know. Maybe people are not having coloring parties. One never knows. Hey, thanks, Abby. Okay, my friends. Have a great day, and I'll see everyone on Wednesday. Thanks so much.